Hello, YouTube. A lot of American Pie back here again, sitting outside. Um, I've recently picked up a bad habit of smoking cigarettes. I've always smoked cigars, so that's nothing new to me. I really picked this habit up uh, back in the springtime. And it's really because of the convenience of it, not necessarily the uh, different effects of it or anything, but really just for the convenience. It's so much easier to smoke a cigarette than it is having a big honking cigar all the time, which really, if you know me, I kind of usually smoke um, smaller cigars uh, with smaller, stronger cigars. But I really want to talk today about an issue. I, well, I really want to tell you how my day was first. I uh, had a great day, had a paid day, and I didn't even have to work. Got up, went to the terminal I was supposed to be at. They didn't have uh, a conductor there. They didn't have an engineer there. So I got a paid day. Just got to go and go online and do the claim and everything. But I'm really stoked about that, and I get my mileage in there too. So I'm really happy. I uh, came back, got here at like 8 o'clock, told my girlfriend, hey, you know, we're going to go get something to eat, some breakfast. I'm going to call her on the way back. Got here, she was ready, and went to this little place, man. It, it was a great breakfast. It honestly was. Uh, hard to find a parking spot, honestly. I was Luckily, it was a Sunday, and I didn't have to pay for parking. But got back, crashed all day, slept almost all day, just laid around, didn't do anything productive at all. We ate some leftovers from last night, and I saw something on Facebook. Now, Rudy knows what I'm talking about. Some of the other people might not. And this has to go back with La Pausa and uh, 28 La Pausa. 28 La Pausa is an eau de toilette originally released in 2007, I think. No, 2010. I can't remember the exact date. Maybe 2011. Don't quote me on any of this. But... It was released, and I really never heard anybody talk about it. Uh, when I went to the Chanel boutiques, I never really smelled it. I got a sample of it over a year ago, maybe two years. I think it was, it was over. It was when I was still in college, so it was two years ago. And I smelt it, and I and I did a review on it. And I'm making that face because of the fragrance, not because of the cigarette. I made a. A video I'm not I made a review on it on my old channel seeing how I really didn't like it but when I finished my sample it came around to me really liking it and I never did a follow-up review which I should have and, and I do follow-up reviews I do two or three different reviews on a fragrance depending on how I feel about it and you know I try to get my full true expression out there on a fragrance because you know my nose changes every day your nose changes every day and I think you know we're constantly evolving, so I think that, you know, it, it takes merit to do more than one review. But nonetheless, uh, Rudy was telling, I saw um, Rudy was telling me how good 28 La Pausa is compared to La Pausa, which La Pausa is a great scent altogether. But 28 La Pausa, like a lot of the EDTs in the Chanel, they really have that pop off the skin, you know. They really pro kind of they project, and you can really smell them in the air, rather than the EDPs really being close to the skin, or at least with most of them. Cora Mandel is always popping off the skin, and everyone can smell it. But uh, a guy he posted on there, um, he's been on YouTube before, he's been on someone else's channel, and I contacted him. This is back in the spring, uh, spring early early summer. I contacted him. I was like, hey, man, you know, I'm really interested in it. Uh, he didn't get back to me that day. It was the next day. He was like, sure, um, let me get to the fragrance, and I'll sell it to you. You know, another week, about a week went by, and I messaged him and said, hey, you know, I really want to buy it. You know, I have the money. I'll be more than happy to send it to you ASAP. And he, he sent me a voice message saying that he still hasn't gotten to the fragrance yet. I don't know if he travels for work, but it's, it's kind of suspicious honestly and he said I'll have to do it through Mercari so it'll be a 20% charge and the fragrance is already like 350 bucks so another 20% on top of that and I was like yeah is there any way you can just do it through uh, 
you know, just through regular through PayPal. You know, I'm, you're on YouTube. Uh, you, you have been on YouTube, other people's YouTube channels. Uh, he used to work at Saks Fifth Avenue. I said, you know, you're pretty trusted. Uh, you've done sales before. And he said, you know, yeah, yeah, sure, that's completely fine. Uh, just let me get to the fragrance. And it went on for about another week. So this is going on two and a half weeks. And he said, hey, you still want the fragrance? I was like, yeah. He said, okay, well, uh, I'll ship it to you. Here's my uh, PayPal. I said, okay. And uh, something told me not to send him any money, and I didn't. I didn't send him any money at all. I was like, yeah, what What? What are you shipping it through? You know, USPS, FedEx, U, uh, UPS. And he said, uh, I'll ship it flat rate. Uh, the flat rate's $35. I was like, uh, you know, at most it's going to be like $15. I was like, are you sure, you know, that's the right amount? He's like, yeah, yeah, it's just the tax up here in New York. And, 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 I, and I looked at it online, and even with tax, it'd still be like, at most, 20 bucks. 35 which I know it's just 15 bucks so but it was enough to really raise a red flag and, and I didn't message him back anymore I, I said okay you know uh I'll, I'll let I didn't I, I didn't even say I'll let you know I said uh okay let me uh get home and get situated and I'll you know I'll let you know he, di he didn't look at it he didn't respond so I didn't think anything of it and I saw him post it a couple more times along with some other Chanel's and the thing is, they never get sold. Now, they're all Chanel EDPs. Uh, one is number 22, which is highly sought after. And the other one is uh, beige or something like that. And they, they've never gotten sold. So, you know, will I ever get a bottle of 28 La Pausa? I don't know. Will I ever get a bottle of um, just regular La Pausa? Maybe if I see it at a good price or something good, a good deal is going on somewhere. Maybe like you know, 15% off or something like that. Uh, I know Ru uh, Eugene posted on his Instagram one time that Holt, Win Holt Winfrew, Renfrew, I'm not sure, was having a good sale. Like 15% off Chanel's, so. But anyway, that's uh, my story on will I ever get a bottle of Chanel La Pausa or La Pausa, or 28 La Pausa. But yeah, I'm in, I'm in dire need of a haircut. I get um, I have a day off Thursday, so I'll probably get a haircut. I'm I'm gonna go to a new guy this time. Uh, the guy I've always went to and my grandfather went to. He he's just kind of inconsistent. And if he ever sees this video, you know I, I'll be honest. You know it's he does good, but it's kind of inconsistent. You know sometimes my hair will come out looking great. Sometimes it won't. Uh, when I get him to trim my you know nut hair, he'll uh, sometimes he'll charge. Sometimes he won't charge. It just depends. Nonetheless, hope everyone has a great day, and I hope you can get a bottle of La Pausa or 28 La Pausa.